Once again, we're not going to send you out the loaner on the break. The biggest thing about surveys is we're only going to do it when we ask when we have to. It requires time, it requires coordination, it takes a lot of range away from the flight. Team members are supposed to hire us for radiation because you're right there, right next to the contamination. If we need to, we're going to initiate and we're going to control the survey. You're not going to conduct this survey unless you're absolutely told, hey, you must conduct the survey. All right, now see how it's spiking over here? It was at like point one. All right, go ahead. When you're actually out moving around in a contaminated area, you're right there, right next to all that particular radiation. Also, as always, anything gone on the ground is going to take more Marines and equipment away from the actual primary mission. Some of the key limitations are it's going to take longer. Because you on foot is not nearly going to be as fast as a helicopter. I don't care how fast you can run three miles, you are never going to outrun a helicopter. Plus, all units can perform ground service. All units have Marines, pretty much all units have Marines, and like all units have vehicles, so all units can perform this type of survey because you all now are a well trained team. Survey teams are going to consist of monitor and necessary support personnel. So you're the monitors. Support personnel will be people like drivers, they'll be security personnel. And if you're reconnaissance, you may have to actually pass through the irradiated area to find the actual area that is not irradiated. We're going to say you can receive this much radiation. Once you receive this much radiation, you must turn back and come back. Does anyone have any questions for anything that I've covered radiological reconnaissance?